Hi guys, the last thing I needed was another eyeshadow palette, <laughs> but I just got home from running errands and stuff and I popped into Ulta because I wanted to get a face wash and I was perusing around and I saw a Grinch makeup palette. I don't know how I haven't heard of this, I haven't seen anything about it. Um, it's from Pure Cosmetics, which I still kick myself for not getting the Trolls palette that they did a couple of years ago. So I wanted to grab this because I knew I would regret it if I didn't. So this was $42, but I had my 20% off coupon for being platinum, so I paid $33 for it, which isn't too bad, but I feel like that's kind of expensive for a Pure, pure Cosmetics palette. Um, I just feel like they're normally cheaper than that, but wait till you see this it's so cute and if anybody is a fan of like the Grinch or Dr. Seuss in general this is gonna be such an awesome Christmas present for them so this is like my little early Christmas present to myself I'm a huge Dr. Seuss fan um, if you haven't been following me for a while you know uh, and you won't know but um, before Aiden my son was born we did his entire room in Dr. Seuss stuff and he just so happens to be a big Dr. Seuss lover now but I kind of credit Dr. Seuss books with getting me into drawing and being creative and stuff because ever since I can remember I always like tried to copy the drawings and stuff and the artwork from the books so kind of credit that with my getting me to be creative so this is what it looks like it's kind of big this is definitely not like a travel palette, but on the back it says the Grinch's small heart small heart <laughs> grew three sizes that day. And it just says pure and Dr. Seuss the Grinch. The front is all white with gold. It says all things from the book and the movie, like beware of dog, marry whatever, <laughs> leave now, get out. Um, and then you open it up and it's like a pop-up book inside. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let me do it like this. The mirror also says the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then this down here has like broken ornaments and stuff. Hopefully you can see. My camera is like not high up enough so... And then it's got like Whoville down here. And then where the palette is, you pull this out. And it's shaped like a heart and it does come all the way out which is cool so you don't have to like have this whole thing sitting there while you're using it to do your makeup so it's like a heart on a cardboard bottom piece here and the colors are so nice I was swatching it the um swatching like the sampler that they had set up the tester <laughs> and I was really impressed I don't think I've ever used any pure eyeshadows or anything before but this it was really nice and I was super excited about it so um, it comes with a highlighter, a blush, two pressed glitters, some eyeshadows, I believe there's eight, yeah, eight eyeshadows, and this is so cool. This is a, it actually has, hopefully you can see the detailing on here, let me see. I wanted to show you guys, there's a little Grinch right there creeping up the, the packaging. Let me see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not right here if my camera wants to focus there's a little Grinch so super cute and then it's just like Christmassy packaging it's gold this is a kinda like a lip balm slash stain that's green it kinda smells like spearmint so it's not like your typical peppermint one but it doesn't go on green it's kinda like a pink stain very similar to the lipstick queen frog print stuff I know they had like the they had the lipstick and then they had the blush and cheek stain, but it kind of just gets a darker pink with your body chemistry. And it's called Moody, which kind of makes sense because it's like a mood lip gloss type thing. So I haven't tried it on my lips yet. Like I said, I just brought this home and was swatching it, and I was like, I need to do a video on this because I haven't even heard about it. I know that the new movie is coming out. They made yet another Grinch movie but I didn't know that there was a makeup palette, so you know me, uh, anything that has to do with themed makeup palettes, I'm all about it. So I'm going to swatch everything quickly for you. Um, let me grab a... I've been leaving a brush in here now so that every time I want to do a swatch video, I have it for you. So 
this highlighter. It's called Feeling Frosty. It's super pigmented. It's like a white gold. Oh, now I gotta get my... So that is Feeling Frosty. And I will swatch that with a brush for the heck of it. This kind of has like... Um, the feeling that you need to apply it with a flat brush instead of a dome brush like I have here, but that's a super pretty color. Um, I don't think these glitters are going to swatch well with a brush, so I'm just going to do my finger. The green one is Mr. Grinch. It's definitely just feels like a pressed glitter, but those come in handy when you don't want to mess with glitter adhesives and stuff. I just hope it doesn't dry up super quick. Oh, it's so pretty! It's gonna be, this is gonna be like my Christmas palette this year. It's so awesome. I will definitely have to incorporate that glitter on Christmas Day <laughs> into my look or whatever look I do. Then we have Cave, which is like a matte brownish tan crease color here, transition shade. And I will swatch that one with the brush as well. Oh, I picked up way too much there. And I don't have a primer or anything on my hand, so that's probably not the greatest idea. And then we have Max, which is the Grinch's dog. This is like a peachy champagne shade. That one's super duper pigmented. They all have that very, like, dimethicone feel to them. That one did pick up on the brush pretty decently, though. Um, actually, let me see, is there... Yeah, they have dim dimeth dimethicone in them, so that's probably why they don't pick up as great on the brush. So, really pretty colors, though. So that's those first few there, and then I'll do these last two. The glitter is pretty decently easy to clean off. I mean, it's not all over my hand now after wiping it. So that's a plus two. Then we have Sly One, which is like a matte cranberry. That one's pretty pigmented. And I will do a brush swatch of that as well. So that is Sly One, another good holiday color. I like that cranberry. And then Leave One, Leave Now, not Leave One. <laughs> this is a really pretty dark, I want to say that's a really dark navy blue, but it kind of looks black. And it's just got tons of rainbow sparkle in there. Yeah, I think that's more black than blue. That's so pretty. Naughty, which is a pinkish glitter. Oh, that's so pretty. Actually, it's more like a cranberry. Kind of goes with that shade. That is like crazy pretty. Okay, so then I'll swatch the rest of them after I get this off my hands. The blush is called Heart of Who, and this is really pretty too. Very smooth and creamy. This is like a medium mid-tone pink with a slight peachy sheen to it. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera because I've got like stupid shadow from my camera here. Let's see how it swatches with a brush. Yeah, you can see the sheen a little bit better with the brush. Very pretty. Then we have Who Cares, and that's kind of like a an olive green with some gold sparkle in there. That's gorgeous. All very 
nice like holiday colors. So I mean, I said the that the ColourPop Princess palette was going to be my holiday palette, but I think this one's going to be my go-to. I'm very excited about this. I wasn't sure how the quality was going to be. That's how, why I started swatching it in the store, and I was very pleasantly surprised here. Then we've got Loathe, which is a nice, like, really yellow gold. Very metallic and reflective. So pretty. Do one more little sweep here. These are just so pretty. And again, I always like using golds and cranberries together, so like this on the lid with that in the outer corner is going to be so pretty. Or even this one too, because this is like a cranberry shade. This one's uh, Cindy Lou Who. Actually, let me clean my hand first. Okay, Cindy Lou Who is like more of a metallic cranberry. Not really, I guess that's more of like a satin finish. It's not super sparkly and reflective. Oops. There's that one. And then the last one is boring, and that is a brown with like gold sparkle in there. So you can get a nice array of looks out of here, like neutrals and some colorful ones, and then plus you have those glitters to make it any of them sparkly looks. So nice. Oh my goodness, I love this palette so far and I haven't even used it on my eyes yet. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in this and you have one of those 20% um, off coupons that they sent out for being a Platinum member, I would jump on it now because uh, those coupons are good on the Prestige brands, so it worked on this. Uh, they don't always allow you to use those coupons. Well, I mean, like, sometimes you'll get a 20% off coupon and you can only use it on, like, the drugstore side of the store, so... Very happy with this so far. I'm gonna go try on the, um, lip balm on my lips right now, actually, but... I love the highlighter and the blush. The glitters are super pretty. Um... This one's gorgeous, this one's gorgeous, that one's probably my favorite in here. I just love this palette, it's so cute and super nice for the holidays. And it's got the uh, super adorable big gaudy packaging, but I love it anyway. The little <laughs> pop-up Whoville on the inside, so very excited about this. I'm so happy that I spotted it because I almost didn't go to that side of the store today. Um, they, I want to say my store had like four of them, so they probably just put them out and I don't know if they're going to get them again, but super cute. I'm sure they're going to have this on the Ulta website too, so if you are interested in it, grab it, snag it now. <laughs> Especially with the if you have that 20% off coupon, it makes it 33 bucks instead of 42 so it's a lot better. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you sh I hope I showed you something new that you haven't seen yet cuz I sure as heck did not see this or hear anything about it yet. But I will talk to you guys next time.